Hello guys and welcome to another UK Card Club card review video. Today we're going to be reviewing the Casual V2s. Now, I don't know much about these and any of you that watch my reviews will kind of get the gist of the fact that I don't do much research beforehand on the decks because I don't want to be biased. I don't want to have someone else's opinion imposed upon me. There's a casual playing card, second edition, printed in the USA, designed by Paul Rabaya. Rabaya? They look very cool. Got a custom seal here. I like the fact it's got this sort of semicircular thumbprint open part, which I don't know whether it's going to work for me, but be interesting. So it's got this design that goes all the way around the tuck. And it's just got this uh, black strip across the top with the information on it. So this is very nice. It's like a matte recycled card stock, which is pretty cool. You can see a bit more information there. Seal is very nice. Golden, let's see if this works. I'll tell you now, it doesn't. There we have it. So it didn't work as a standard, but I managed to make it work. So we have the Joker, a very innocent looking jester with a very innocent, more than done wrong look on his face. Again, same again, no real differences there. He's not like a card reveal on one of the cards. That's very cool. And this it is like a metallic gold there, which is very nice because you don't often see that on the faces. Into a standard deck until we get to the royalty. It's very simplistic and very nice this. I like this, it's a metallic gold, black and white, which is very nice. Into the red, standard faces again. And royalty there. We have the black, white, gold, and then the red for the suit, obviously. Got a couple of uh, cards here. So we've got a double backer. For more original playing card designs, visit paulrebea.com. The back design there. And that kind of, uh, it's nice to see this this gold here. And it continues into the back. It's not, it's actually, this is the opposite of what you normally get. So you normally get the tuck case being like this metallic gold. Then you'd get the backs being this like dulled down version because they didn't obviously want it on the deck itself. So this is like, the opposite it's got that dull down version but actually on the deck itself it is gold it handles very smoothly that's really nice actually it's a very fine stock on these cards it's got a gold thin board way round and then these just geometric shapes yeah that's nice we'll give these a bit of a shuffle and see how they do oh, very smooth nice yeah pretty pretty good Yeah, that's very nice. And these would be good for cardistry, I'd imagine. I mean, for me, I'm not very into it or have a massive understanding of it, but these sorts of designs you see in a, in a lot of uh, a lot of cardistry decks. The problem is that these borders are quite thick, so in order to see the designs underneath, you need to give it a really wide spread because the smaller it gets, the less you see. And I mean, by this sort of stage, you're not seeing any of it. it looks really nice. Yeah, I'm impressed. I mean, I was impressed with the tuck case. I expected them to be decent based on, on the tuck. They're actually nicer than the tuck indicates you to believe. This is a very sort of dull matte, almost cardboard brown. Whereas you get this real, real nice metallic gold on the actual deck itself. So yeah, I'm really impressed. I really like these. I'll be interested. I'll be checking his website out for sure. See what else he has. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll catch you next time when we'll be reviewing something else. Take care.